Yo, what's going on my brothers and my sisters out here in these YouTube streets? Your boy CJ the Taurus back again with another episode of Break Time on xCloud9. And today we're going to be getting into some bleeding edge while talking about our topic. <clears throat> our topic today, again, is the PlayStation 5. And um, honestly, guys, it, it, uh, it makes me feel happy and sad at the same time to be giving this news um because i really do want to see playstation succeed um i want to have a great generation between um sony and microsoft between the xbox series x and the playstation 5 but starting off it doesn't look like we're gonna get too much competition if the rumors are true about what we're going into today as far as our topic so our topic today is the playstation 5 uh there are some developers coming out and uh you know some some people saying that um they've they've been saying that the system has been overheating um and that's never a good thing guys we we never want uh you know our consoles to overheat that was a big problem in the with the 360 when the three when the xbox 360 came out um and you know they, they kind of capitalized on that when they came out with the xbox one um there were probably some situations where some consoles did overheat um but you know it wasn't as widespread as what it was in the xbox 360 uh 360 generation so i just really feel like we have put PlayStation in a position to where they, I think that they came out with the expectation that they were just going to capture the minds and hearts of everybody without really trying that hard, without, um, and you can kind of see that with the specs of the PlayStation 5 versus the specs of the Xbox Series X. And like I've said plenty of times in videos before, specs are not everything. So I do want to point that out. But what I want to say is, in almost every single one of my videos, um, I have I have literally come out and said, I'm a little worried about Sony. I'm a little worried about the PlayStation because, number one, we haven't seen anything about their console yet. Like, as far as how the console looks, um, you know, they had bowed out of E3 last year. They they didn't do a uh, PAX event last year. Uh, they didn't do, I don't even think they had a, did they hold a P, I don't remember them holding a PSX either last year. So, and that's their conference. That's their press conference to get, you know, their, uh, you know, consumer base excited about the things that are going on or the things that might be coming along in the future. So, with all that being said, you know, it, like I said, guys, it does pain me a bit to, to be talking about this because I feel like without PlayStation there in the beginning, and we don't know how this, how this is going to play out. They could still put out, uh, you know, the PlayStation 5 with the current issues and then do like a revamp later, which I totally disagree with. I really don't think that that is a good idea. I think that they, they should come out... Um, you know, when the console is ready, guns a blazing. You see what I'm saying? Make sure that everything is in the right places um, for them to pretty much capitalize on whatever they have going on at that time. So let's just say they put out like Ghost of Tsushima um, and um, Last of Us 2 at the same time as the console is launching. Like those games would have to be ready for the console, with the console in order for them to turn this this thing around. Um, and, and I don't think that that's too far fetched. I think that that's something that we can definitely see going, you know, forward uh, to the future of, you know, what PlayStation has planned. But guys, what do you guys think about this? Do you guys think that this is, you know, a, a big, um, you know, flop for PlayStation? Do you guys feel like, oh, it's nothing? You know, they'll come out on top. You know, they'll make you know a great product. Um, you know, I'm on the fence here, guys. I'm on the fence because I'm already not really a PlayStation guy. I don't really play PlayStation like that. Xbox, to me, is the best box. I've, I've always said that. I've had every Xbox 
since the original Xbox. I've literally had every Xbox. So, um, oh, this is suggested. I'm gonna go ahead and pick him. So, uh, you know, I've I've had uh, you know, all the Xboxes, and um, you know, I just really feel like Xbox has over time, even even from when I first started using Xbox, they have gotten so much better. Everything that they've done and all the accomplishments that they've made over, you know, they, they haven't always made the right decisions. I will say that they have not always made the right decisions. But when they did, uh, you know, decide to get serious and to, to really start um, making sure that the game, uh, the console was, you know, something big for the uh, for consumers you know what i'm saying something that we could be proud of that we could say yo we have the most powerful console yo we have this we have that i think i think when they started turning that around was probably in 2007 i would say um uh, I'm, I'm sorry not 2007 2017 um i do believe that um they came with some new things such as um, pretty much being able to use your console in like hotels and stuff like that. Like before, we didn't have the option to be able to use our consoles in a hotel or anything like that because you had to make sure that um, you could get on the Wi-Fi. And most most of those most of those uh, um, hotels had like security on their Wi-Fi. So in order to connect to the Wi-Fi at those hotels you needed to be able to you needed to be able to connect uh via the internet um an internet connection i knew i was gonna get mopped up because i didn't see none of my teammates there teammates there um so you had to like literally get on internet explorer or something like that to type in the password um to be able to connect to the wi-fi in some of these places and they actually um, started incorporating stuff like that. And when I started seeing those changes, just those little subtle changes, that's when I knew that Microsoft and Xbox was getting ready to take the path. And I always tell you guys, you know, th this channel is called Circuits Talk for a reason, guys. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I always, you know, listen to what's going on in the industry and uh, think about, you know, what, what could possibly happen next to kind of enhance what we're what we've been seeing out here in these streets um in these gaming streets and you know honestly a lot of the stuff has been pro-consumer after pro-consumer move on microsoft's behalf and um even even right now as i'm sitting here playing something like xcloud xcloud is still in its beta form but i'm playing their brand new game bleeding edge on xcloud in my car on break this is amazing guys like there's nothing there's nothing that I've seen out here even remotely close to this and you know Stadia is you know good and stuff like that but they just don't have um, they don't have certain games and if you do buy certain games then you have to buy them at full price which is not uh, considered it's, it's not considered a good thing because most of those games have already been out for a while so we shouldn't be having to pay for those games at full price like it just doesn't make any sense you know what i'm saying but you know uh there there's gonna be people that that you know like that type of stuff and there's gonna be people that um <clears throat> that are against it i personally am against it uh even even with something like the switch i feel like most of the stuff in the switch is uh ooh, no you gotta see me first Come on, no! Oh, I forgot I could go invisible. Oh, man. I'm actually enjoying myself right now. Mmm. Death. I think uh, I think I gotta get on this game a little bit more often, guys. This game is really dope. I didn't really know how dope this game was until uh, a few moments ago. I'm really enjoying it. It, it. it actually had my brain a little scattered when I was talking to you guys. 
because uh, I just wasn't expecting this to be so much fun. Um, and I have to go back uh, really soon here, so I can't spend too much more time. But um, I just want to say, guys, like, it's a little disappointing. And we don't know for a fact yet. We don't know for a fact yet whether or not um, we should be, you know, really extremely worried about this. Or if this is just something that, uh, you know eventually we'll uh we'll, we'll kind of get past and you know maybe they'll be able to fix this stuff by the time the consoles are supposed to be coming out i'm not sure you know everything is still up in the air we have to see how this is gonna go but i'm gonna tell you guys man i'm i'm uh i'm a little disappointed um i'm hoping that they're gonna do you know really well here uh in this space i really am but you know it's we're gonna have to see guys for real for real we're gonna have to see where this leads us we're gonna have to see can sony make um you know good on their promises and still put out this console uh you know without it overheating that's that's what we really need to 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 be paying attention to guys so oh man i knew that was gonna happen but yeah guys you know i'm uh I'm just, I don't, I don't even really know what to say, guys. Like, I'm, I'm lost for words. I want them to do good. I want them to do um, just as good as they did this this generation, um, PlayStation. I would like for PlayStation to do just as good as they did this, this generation because if they do or if they did, then whatever Microsoft does will be that much better. You see what I'm saying? Because they have, they'll have the competition and having that competition is what you want. Damn. Okay, Shardy. Yeah. Now you can't see me. Oh no, did I waste my ultimate on her? I think I did. Guys, it's been fun talking to you guys about this today. Um, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think that this is going to be something that we should, you know, be upset about? Or, you know, that, that uh, you know, we should be looking at like, man, you know, they're in trouble. Or do you guys think that this is just a little, you know, uh, just a little upset, you know, it'll be over soon type deal. Like, let me know what you guys think. I'm, I'm really interested to see uh, how you guys feel about this. I do know for a fact, though, that if this was Microsoft and they were making these moves, I would hear a lot more people talking about it and I and unfortunately I don't hear a lot of people talking about this and it's not it's not that I care like I really don't care that people aren't talking about it but I really do feel like there should be more people talking about this this is not um, behavior that we should be seeing from Sony who you know has been doing great things for the for this whole generation and now all of a sudden uh you know we can't get a view of the playstation 5 uh we can't see what it looks like now we're hearing issues about it overheating and stuff like that so you know i just want to know what you guys think like you know tell me i i really i really like to know uh how you guys feel about this but um until next time guys uh i am going to be out because these guys are actually locking us down into our spawn here so i'm just gonna let you guys watch how we get out of this situation if we get out of this situation before i go back from break but i'll let you guys later have a great day your boy cj, CJ the taurus out peace
Oh. Yeah, that's the end for me, guys. Take care, guys.